Hello. So, um, I'm not good at intros or anything, but here's to another video, I guess. Um, so, th I, I'm gonna say this first. Thank you so much for the crazy amount of support on this channel in general and my one video that I uploaded a month ago and I I seen I, I seen the comments and you are the sweetest everyone I love you all so much so so very much and sorry um <laughs> i don't know what to say but th just thank you so very much i am glad you can enjoy my voice acting if you want to call it that of me attempting to sound like a boy i guess i don't know but <clears throat> Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, and on to the video. Okay, here's a little bit of insight on the video so I don't leave you confused. It's basically- <laughs> Sorry, that's my bird whistling. Anyways, it's basically where- Carl finds you crying, and he has absolutely no clue what happened. Absolutely no clue what happened. So, that, that that's just all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you were in your room, and Carl had just came back into the house, because, like, you and... You and him and Rick and Michonne and Judith, you guys were all in one house in Alexandria. He comes back into the house and he doesn't see you. So he starts looking around for you because you're usually like, you're usually in the kitchen or you're usually in the living room, but this time you aren't. Baby, you here? You here? Baby. I don't... I don't see her. Maybe she's upstairs. So, Carl goes upstairs to check any other room that wasn't yours, because you weren't really in your room a lot, but he decides to check in there anyways, just to make sure. Baby, you you in here? Oh, oh, baby, you okay? Hey, 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 come here, baby, baby, come here, come here, come here. Carl basically sees that your eyes are like red and your face is red and you know after like you get done crying, there's like or like you're still crying and there's like like little tear marks down your face yeah he sees that and so he goes over to you and he basically just pulls you into his arms and he just holds you there and he he combs the little bit of hair that was hanging in your face behind your ear and gives you a minute and asks if you're okay <clears throat> Baby, are you okay? Why are you crying? Oh shit, sorry. Um, sorry about that. My shoe just broke. Um, <laughs> sorry. You okay, baby? Why are you crying? You can tell me anything, you know that. You look up at Carl and you you really can't seem to form any words that 
would come out solidly and not be crying. So your head just nuzzled into his neck and he he didn't force you to talk at all. He just he just held you there and he just let you cry. He whispered softly to you things that comforted you a lot and that you really needed. It's okay, baby, I'm right here for you. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. I know, it's okay. Just let it out, right? Just let it out. This is the best thing to do right now. I know, I know. So, a little bit of five minutes of more silence. You look up at him and he looks down at you with a smile. A really comforting smile that it made you just want to tell him everything. But there was nothing to tell him because you just needed to cry. And him being clueless while you were crying and still comforting you, you were also still very clueless while you were crying. It just felt like one of those days and Carl caught on. It's okay. I know. There's just days where you need to cry anymore, baby. It'll be okay. I'm here for you, and I'll hold you all night, all day if you need me to, you just, just cry, be okay, I'll always be here for you, okay baby, okay, Carl, pulls you up on his chest and holds you. He lies back and you li end up lying on his chest. You had ended up falling asleep because you were tired after crying for so long. Carl just st stayed right there holding you, not letting you go until he knew for sure you were okay. He held you there for hours on end until it was 8 p.m. Rick hadn't seen him in a while so he goes up into the house and finds you too. He sees Carl holding you in your face just basically smushed on his chest. It was red and Rick seemed to understand. He smiled he smiled at Carl and told him to take care of you and that he loves him. I love you too, Dad. Good night. Rick tells him good night and exits the room and goes downstairs to presumably get Judith ready for bed. Carl ends up falling asleep. That is the end. This This is the end of the video. Like <laughs> I'm I'm not good with intros nor outros, but I'm I'm gonna say this. Thank you all so so much for all of your support. It is it is crazy. I am very very thankful for everyone who has watched this video. Well, yeah, this video and my other video, and I want to say I'm not going anywhere. I just don't upload as frequently because I decided to start a YouTube channel right when shit was hitting the fan for my family life. So I apologize if anything is really slow, but I appreciate all of you for your patience and your kindness. Another thing I wanna say is that if the intro and the insight of the video sounded different from how the video sounded and from the outro, I recorded that probably maybe in November or early December and I just let it sit in my camera roll because I didn't I didn't have the motivation to actually finish a video but here we are 
I love you all so, so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.